two-minute warning. Hey, Bleed Big Blue. This is Tim from the podcast. Just wanted to, uh, you know, recap day one of free agency, which could be Christmas time for some people where, you know, you either got the gift you wanted or you had the gift you didn't. Well, I pretty much think we got the gift we wanted at least uh, first day with Brandon Marshall signing with the Giants. Which, again, let's give props to Bleed Big Blue for uh, being on top of this story probably about a month ahead of everybody else. Once we uh, had any clue, we always thought Brandon Marshall would be the perfect fit for the Giants to be their number two. Especially because he signed way under what he could have. Especially if you've seen some of these receiver contracts that have come out today. Now, for our second signing, Rhett Ellison. What are you worried about? I see it's everybody snapping over, we paid too much money to Rhett Ellison. $8 million guaranteed contract over four years. Now, is that going to be a huge problem for us? I highly doubt it. Is that going to put us over the cap and we're not going to be able to sign anybody? No. And from what I've seen, Will Johnson's going to get cut, which is the same sort of player Rhett Ellison is. But he got injured last year. We never even got to see him play with us. I've also seen rumors that Will Johnson will be, they're going to try to sign him back at a veteran minimum. So we're going to save money again. So relax. It also, that signing says a lot about where they want to go. They obviously thought the problem with Giants running game, one of the big problems was the tight ends not being able to block. I totally agree. Let's fix that. And maybe somebody's going to be a hybrid role and play fullback. I absolutely think we need that as well. Now, we didn't get to see any signings of offensive alignment for the Giants. That's okay. Especially after the contracts that came out today. Everybody got way overpaid, which usually happens on day one of free agency. That's okay. I'm... We still there's still some offensive linemen out there. Still, we don't know what the Giants are planning to do. I I like uh, Calvin Beecham. He played for the Jags last year, but he came off uh, you know ACL injury, so he didn't play as well last year. But this would be the second year recovering from the ACL injury, and I expect a big bounce back here. But I think we can get him at cheap. The other name I've seen. In relation with the Giants is DJ Fluker, which I guess Giants uh, really liked going into his draft, which I think was 2011. Might be wrong on that. If you want to check my facts, go ahead. But uh, DJ Fluker is another name the Giants are going to do. The only thing, if DJ Fluker gets signed, I think there's a big uh, possibility that Eric Flowers will be still be our left tackle but who knows it's early in free agency draft hasn't even happened so relax we're gonna be all right let's see what day two brings us